Yo, 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 what's going on? Terrell, Hall of Fame, D-Line, and all that other good shit. <laughs> yo, this one is very, 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 very simple, man. Very simple. Every dog is not a show dog. Every dog is not a healthy dog. Every dog sh should not even be a pet. And I'm saying this is because um, it seems like we, we live in a time of blurred lines. Everything's blurred. Everything's blurred. No one wants to be what they're supposed to be, you know. And and what I mean by that is is that you know too many people are putting up dogs that are obviously just pieces of shit dogs. I mean, we see the elbows, we see the feet, we see the rears, we see the heads that look nothing like the breed that they're supposed to be. And you know, y'all want to pat on the back for this bullshit. It ain't gonna happen. If you are new to this. Look up the American Bully Standard. Now, and, what, and what I mean by that, you know, I, not just the standard, but also Google, like, uh, American Bully confirmation charts. And you'll see that the way your dog is supposed to be built. You know, now, in the description of the American Bully for basically every registry, you know, it describes a headpiece that uh, most of these dogs don't have anymore. Wrinkles are undesirable. Uh, circular eyes are undesirable. They're supposed to be more almond shaped. You know, so we get a good idea of what the facial features of the American Bully is supposed to be like. Then you can put that together also. And, and most of those charts, they actually show you what the head is supposed to look like. You know, um, you get a good idea about the bite. You get a good idea about all of these different things. And I, you know, and I say that to say this, man. It's not that hard to follow rules. It's not that hard to get on your grind and get in there and be, you know, very, very uh, diligent in removing dogs that don't fit this standard. We're not making excuses for these dogs anymore. It's time for us, and that includes every breed that we have at the TBKC, which uh, later on today I am going to, we are going to, I'm not going to say I am, but we are going to start taking paperwork again. We've worked out the kinks and we're ready. But uh, I tell you what, you know, you have to, you have to grind. You know, it doesn't matter if you can make your dog squat in the ring so he he looks like he doesn't have a high rear. He's got a high rear. That's not a show quality dog. You know, a dog that has a bad underbite, bad overbite, one testicle, bad feet, bad elbows, you know, bad temperament. All of these things are the, the reason that we're here is to decide if you qualify as to being a show dog. If your dog cannot be all of the things that encompasses being a show dog, then we don't have excuses, you know. We don't have excuses. We don't have any excuses for you. I'm, I don't care if your feelings get hurt or any of that other good stuff. It's not about being mean. It's not about being friends with anyone. It's not about being enemies with anyone. The thing about it, the thing about it is, is picking the best dog so we can go forward. This is not thought of as a this year thing. You know, the only way that this breed can get better as, as, as we speak of American Bully and, you know, the other breeds is that you have a registry that's going to be true to what's supposed to be done and stick in there. If your dog has, like I say, a one testicle, if your dog has been neutered, if your dog, you know, um, has serious breathing issues. I've literally been in a show where they stopped the show where the dog was basically uh, overheating or whatever the hell this dog was doing. Let the guys go over there, spray him down with water, wipe him down. All this shit, bring the dog back in the ring to give him a best in show ribbon. It was despicable, you know what I mean? And that was a registry that was not the ABKC. And so it, this shit just continues all over. We continuously see it all over. It's pathetic, you know? You literally stopped the show because the dog was, uh, was basically about to pass out just to let him try to gain enough composure the stand so you could give him a rivet but this is what we're seeing over and over again and you wonder why we're the laughing stock of the world when it comes to us being called dog men and dog women i just you know recently went through a battle with uh you know an akc person who had nothing but negative things to say about how we operate and in many ways you know what i mean all i could do is speak for myself and speak for the people you know that roll with me but in many ways this person was right
you know? And I hate to say that, but in many ways, this person was absolutely 120% correct. If we don't step our game up, if we don't stop all these nonsense breeders or so-called breeders or people who just throw stuff out there just to make a couple bucks and not look at the big picture of making a better dog, this breed is gonna fall apart. Education is what is needed. You know what I mean? You cannot have, you know, a horrible bite. You cannot have horrible hips. If your dog can't even walk a few feet without starting to breathe crazy, it does not need to be in the ring. If your dog is uncontrollably aggressive, it does not need to be in the ring. If your dog can't stand in the ring and just be a normal ass dog, he doesn't need to be in the ring if he's cowering down with his tail between his legs, shitting in the ring and all these other things. It's not just physical. It's also the mental and everything that uh, comes along with the breed. We have to make it better. Stop selling for less. Stop making excuses. If somebody talks about how fucked up your dog is, it's probably a good chance that your dog is screwed up. I rarely see people point out very nice dogs and talk about how screwed up they are because they would look ridiculous. If they point out flaws on your dog, it's because your dog is flawed up. But hey, until next time, I'll get with y'all, man. Uh, God bless y'all. It's Sunday, but y'all might not see this video on Sunday. But our prayers out to all of your family, anyone who's going through anything. I'll let y'all later. Peace.